Welcome back to the shop, guys. I just finished up with the full anti-lock brake system, brake bleed video with scan tool on the C6 Corvette. And if you missed that video, it'll be right up here. And since I have the C6 on the lift already, I thought this is the opportune time to perform one of the most inexpensive, effective, and easy to do modifications to a C6 Corvette with a manual transmission, or C5 for that matter. And it doesn't matter if they have the T56 or the TR6060 transmission, both transmissions will absolutely respond to this modification. This mod is not a new mod, it's been around for quite some time, and for good reason, most people find it quite effective. It's known as the anti-venom mod. I'm not sure who invented it or why in the heck they called it the anti-venom a mod. If, if you happen to know that tidbit of information, please leave it in the comments below. I, for one, would be in debt to you. The anti-venom mod essentially makes the shifting feel a little bit less notchy. So if your shifter is notchy and you prefer it that way, this might not be the video for you. But for the rest of us, including myself, that want to see what it feels like with their shifter being a little less notchy, especially if you've got a leverage disadvantage due to the physics of a short shifter that's been installed in your Corvette, then follow along because we're going to try out this modification in both versions. Version 1 is just a little bit less notchy, and you guessed it, version 2 is even more less notchy, if that makes any sense. The great thing about this modification, and actually there's two great things about it. Number one, it costs $5 or less in parts. Number two, it really is super easy to do. So you can try stock version one and version two, and you can switch between the versions until you finally have made up your mind, and then just simply switch back to the version that you like the best. Based upon my informal and non-scientific investigation, I think I've found that about 50% of the people prefer version 1 of this modification, 25% of people probably prefer version 2 of the modification, and at the end of the day, probably another 25% of the people, I think that equals 100, go back to stock and prefer that the most. And there's no right answer on this, it's pretty subjective and it's whatever you prefer most. I'm going to go ahead and try out both versions of the anti-venom mod in my C6. Keep in mind I do have the T56 transmission and I've already got a short throw shifter installed and it was there when I got the C6 and right now the make of that shifter escapes me but either way I'll try all three out and whatever I decide upon I'll let you know because like I said it's subjective. Enough gum flapping, let's get the C6 up in the air. And now that we've got it accessible, the first thing I want to do is check the transmission fluid to make sure it's topped off because if it's at all low, number one, that's not good for the transmission, and number two, it might affect the results of the testing that we're doing. So go ahead and remove the plug with a standard 3 8 inch ratchet. It fits right into the plug. And once the plug is off, if you don't notice any fluid run out, Go ahead and use a tool similar to the one I'm using to kind of dip it in to see if the fluid is right below the threads or not. Mine's a little lower than I like, so I'm going to top it off with some Dex Merck transmission fluid from Valvoline. You don't want to use Dextron 6 in this, and that's confirmed by multiple C6 owners manuals years after Dextron 6 was made available. So I would suggest using a Dextron 3 fluid we can fill up a whole video as to which one's best. Continue pumping and pumping and pumping some more until it starts to ooze out the bottom of the fill hole. Provided the car is level, it's now full and you can reinstall the drain plug. Use the 3 8 inch drive ratchet to snug it up and if you're not sure how tight to go, just look for a spec and use a torque wrench. Now we'll enter the C6 from the passenger side just in front of the rear tire. I'll slide up in here and you can see where the transmission bolts to the differential. And if I slide the camera straight up, you can see the detent plug. Now I'll go ahead and install a 24 millimeter deep well socket on that plug. And then the 3 8 inch drive ratchet to loosen it up. And finally I'll finish it up by hand. Now I'll go ahead and clean out all of the threads with a pick so we get all the crusty old sealant out because we don't want this crusty old crap falling inside of our transmission and going forward the copper washers will be sealing the plug to the case. Next we'll use a clean cloth to uh, clean the threads out just a little bit better. Just spend 30 seconds uh, cleaning it up nice. Now we can pull out the Dorman washers 65277 and it really is this simple guys. Just install the two washers onto the detent plug 
And uh, here's what the detent ball does anyway. You can see the spring-loaded action. And you can also see that there's a ton of threads left. So as long as you thread this in straight and don't over tighten it, you're not in any danger of stripping out your transmission case. All right, go ahead and just reinstall everything in the reverse order that you took it apart. Goes without saying, for goodness sake, screw it in by hand first. Don't cross thread the detent plug. Snug it up tight and uh, you're good to go. You know, sitting here in the garage, monkeying with the shifter, going through the motions, it's it's abnormal, it's unusual, and I don't, I, I think I'm overthinking it, so I think there's a solution to this problem. trying to get into a groove of just driving and not really thinking much about the shifting and only then will I be able to fully evaluate this mod. about doing all these YouTube videos is we're always modifying something or testing something out and that's just another reason to go for a test drive uh, not that I need it anymore Well guys, it is spring in Minnesota and this is kind of turning into a Rowan Gears and Corsa exhaust jam session. Well guys, unfortunately that didn't go as planned. After about an hour long test drive, there's only two things I know for sure. Number one, that was a lot of fun. And number two, on this C6 Corvette with this aftermarket Her Shifter installed, 
with the two washer anti-venom mod, it was only a little bit less notchy. By contrast, when I installed the anti-venom mod on my C5 Corvette with its slightly shortened stock shifter, the shifting is noticeably less notchy and it pretty much shifts like butter. That having been said, since it's been winter here in the Midwest, it's been several months since I've driven this C6 and maybe I'm just a bit rusty. Run! So unfortunately, I'm not gonna have any solid conclusions for you today. I'm gonna have to keep driving this C6 over the next few weeks. Since spring is here, that'll be a lot easier to see if I can form any conclusions. But I must say, thought of installing a stock C6 shifter back in this car has entered my mind, as well as taking another ride in my buddy's C6 Z06. has the well-respected MGW shifter installed. So Ben, if you're watching, I'll be giving you a call. But at the end of the day, if you happen to have a C6 or a C5 for that matter, with a manual transmission, I urge you to give the one and two washer anti-venom mod a try in your car to see if you can dial yours in a little bit closer to what your preferences are. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Please leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing, but most of all, thanks for watching.